Before I show you how to set up Lightroom, I want to show you how to set up the hard drives that are going to store your digital negatives. On the desktop I have two external hard drives, Hard Drive 1 and Hard Drive 2. I'll set up Hard Drive 1 this way, by creating a new folder named Archive Digital Negatives. I'll make another new folder and call it Raw Files to be Archived. Inside this folder, I'll create a folder to receive the first imported photographs that I made on the campaign trail in New Hampshire. This folder will be titled 0001 Hillary Clinton. Now I'm going to copy this folder to hard drive number 2 by dragging it over here. The plus sign indicates that it's going to go right at the root. I also have a folder on hard drive 2 to back up my Lightroom catalogs. With the folders set up, it's time to launch Lightroom and create the Archive Digital Negatives catalog. With this dialog box, I'm going to click Create New Catalog and I'm going to save it in the Pictures folder. It's going to be called LR for Lightroom Archived Digital Negatives. As soon as the catalog is created, at the top of the header it shows you which catalog is open. The first thing we want to do is set up the identity plate. The default identity plate indicates that this is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom version 1.3. From the Lightroom menu on the Mac, the Edit menu on Windows, choose Identity Plate Setup. Click Enable Identity Plate and change the name to Archive Digital Negatives. That will tell you what catalog you have open. Highlight Archive Digital Negatives and change the typeface to something a little less florid than uh, Zapfino. I'll use Gil Sands. I'll also choose it as the typeface for the Library Develop Slideshow Print and Web Module Pickers from this drop down menu. Next, save the identity plate as Archive Digital Negatives. Click Save and then OK. Archive Digital Negatives now appears opposite the module picker. The next setup is from the File menu. Choose Catalog Settings and Metadata. Click Automatically Write Changes into XMP. This setting tells Lightroom to export any changes you make to a photograph to the XMP sidecar files that can be read in Bridge, Camera Raw, and Photoshop. Under the General heading, the backup settings are very important. The default is once a week upon starting Lightroom. This is great unless you're doing a tremendous amount of addition of metadata or if you're changing the settings to a lot of files. Then you'll want to backup at least once a day or every time Lightroom starts. For now, we'll leave it at the default. The final setting in this section is the Relaunch and Optimize button that helps if the catalog you have gets really, really big and starts bogging down. Clicking this will relaunch Lightroom and optimize the catalog. Sometimes if the catalog is really big, it may take a while. The file handling settings are pretty much fine the way they are. The only one you might want to change is automatically discard one-to-one -one previews to never. If you have a large enough hard drive on your computer, you can change this to never. 
I have a catalog of almost 50,000 images and my previews, which are rendered one to one, are almost 40 gigabytes of data. Having the one to one previews available speeds up the screen redraw. If this isn't important to you, you can change this to after 30 days or even after one day to save hard drive space. Finally, close the catalog settings dialog. Thank you.